Sketch Tricks. My name is John and I work for Diva as a Senior Art Director. And in this video I will show you uh, my workflow, how I define fixed, uh, fixed uh, aspect ratio image sizes. And therefore I use this one great plugin, this is called Aspect Ratio. And yes, now let's dive in here. Uh, my handoff for my developers is this. Uh, I define images in different sizes. In my case here, for example, I have one to one size. I have 16 to nine, three to four, three to two. This is my handoff. Uh, I, I have these images and, and then I make a little label. Uh, um, here and uh, now developer can see uh, which sizes uh, which sizes are used in this digital product okay uh, first you have to install uh, this plugin you have to go to the github page and install this plugin aspect ratio here's the link below uh, go to this uh, go to the github page and install it okay now, uh, then start from scratch. Yeah, I've duplicated here this artboard, uh, make a copy of it. And so this is an artboard with a 12 column grid. Then uh, you make a um, rectangle. Uh, in my case, four column is uh, 269. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, I duplicate this here, here. And what I do now here, uh, I call this image. Uh, copy this one here and paste it here. And paste it here. Uh, now you have to go to, one, one you have installed the plugin, you have to go to your plugins uh, folder and First you have to select this and then you have to go to the plugins. You can set, uh, go to uh, aspect ratio here. You can set it's uh, a ratio which is predefined or you can uh, set, uh, select uh, it manually. Yeah? For me, uh, I will recommend it to you too. Uh, make uh, set the shortcut of it. Yeah, uh, I made the shortcut to to this uh, predefined this uh, Alt Command A, and then a little pop-up window appears, and there I can uh, change or can select predefined images here: one to one, sixteen to ten, sixteen to nine, and so on. And in my case, okay, I use then uh, four to three. This is, uh, yeah, and then I can here, I, I work in my grid here uh, with four columns and then I say keep with, yes, and this uh, append ratio to name, I do this and I can see here on my image, image, this is four to three, yeah, this is the name, this is really nice if you make a handoff to, the, to another designer and you've forgotten to, to insert such uh, such thing like this here um, and he can he can then look here and say okay this is uh, four two three yeah then I go to clipboard to uh, make a clip and set uh, choose one image here and choose this here and say okay okay uh, now I can delete this too uh, sizes here. I don't want to uh, fill it again. Um, I duplicate this and duplicate this again. And okay, the spacing is 24 here. Okay. What I do, what I want to do here uh, uh, is to insert uh, this little indicator. Therefore, I made just a uh, little symbol, then uh, paste it here, and bring it here up, and right. So, and this is uh, the image format uh, 423. Therefore, I have to change it here. 423. And let's make here an image of 324. 
Therefore, I use this shortcut control alt command and A and change it to 3 to 4. And what I can see is updated here, and uh, I have nothing to do with the math mathematics here. This is fine. I copy this here, and copy this indicator, paste it here, bring it to the right, and I can see here, okay, this is 3 to 4. Oops, image. Three to four. Three to four. And change this here. Three to four. This is an this is an upright format. And in this case, for example, uh, I have images with video size. Therefore, I use uh, sixteen to nine. This is a predefined format. Change it here. I can see. Oops. This is 16 to 9. I have to delete this because I've copied this once again and also copied this name. Copy this indicator, paste it. Oops. Copy this indicator. Paste it here, bring it to the right, and set it here, 16 to 9, and fine. And that's how easy it works, uh, and how easy you can define, you can change this here if you want. Uh, yeah, if you want another format, more, for example, a uh, more upright format, Change it to three to three to six, for example. And you can see, boom. I change it here. Also, three to six. This is just uh, for the first first sight that everyone knows which format it is. And I can see here, three to six is changed. But I have to delete this old one. And yeah, that's, this is how it works, and this is really, really great. And uh, let me show you one, one other thing I, I made here. Uh, I made a teaser with a PADI plugin, yeah, but uh, paste it here. And let me show you how it works with a teaser. Okay, duplicate this here. Go to my grid size and let's insert such an uh, upright format teaser here. And change this here. At first, you have to unlock it here. Yeah. And change the size here also to 3 to 6. Bam. And change this here also. 3. Two, six, and yeah, that's it. That's that's really nice and really easy and quick and and clear. And if you um, yeah, if you upload these screens to to Zeppelin or or another a tool where you you have a hand off to your developer. And everything is fine and everything is clear and you have no discussion and yeah and you are on the right side and yeah this was the video and in the next video I will introduce another plugin but I want to know which plugin do you use in your daily design process process you don't want to miss and uh, write it down here in the comments and, and let me know okay and then see you in the next video and have a good time and bye bye, ciao.